Welcome back everybody. We are Chuck and Kristen and we are traveling full time in our self-converted Mercedes Sprinter van. We've driven thousands of miles and kilometers from the state of Florida all the way to the state of Alaska, the last frontier, and that's where we'll catch up with you. everybody welcome back to another van life episode in alaska we have just made it to the city of anchorage alaska's largest city anchorage is in the heart of the state's south central gulf coast located on the upper shores of cook inlet the anchorage bowl is bordered by mountains water and dense forests of spruce birch and aspen trees So we have arrived at King Cade Park. This beautiful park here located on the southwestern tip of Anchorage, which on a clear day like today, you can see as far as Denali, as well as stunning views of the Cook Inlet. And we are gonna do a stroll as well as a little bike ride around the area. this morning and we are making our way south to the coast of Alaska we are actually heading to a small town called Seward which is situated on the Kenai Peninsula at the head of Resurrection Bay now this town is a beautiful old historic harbor town and it is known as the gateway to the Kenai Fords National Park which is this protected almost inaccessible block of wilderness here in Alaska along the coast with beautiful glaciers and fords and coves and we are off on a four hour wilderness cruise today. <music>
we have arrived in the town of Seaward. It was one of the most beautiful drives. So stunning all the way down through here to the peninsula. We have arrived at our cruise location and we are just munching some lunch quickly. And then we're gonna head off on this wilderness wildlife cruise. Hey, where are we? Where are we sleeping tonight? Hmm. We <laughs> actually got a sweet deal. Let's, are we let's, go, at see this our, hotel? let's go see our room real quick.
two showers. <laughs> Tonight? <laughs> So the town of Seward got its start in 1903 when settlers arrived and plotted the construction of a northbound rail line. This was completed two decades later and this ice-free port would become the most important shipping terminal on the Kenai Peninsula.